Hello everyone, welcome back. So quick bonus video today. I'm gonna to try and make this a feature on the channel. This is gonna be my Friday unboxing. So uh, most weeks I have something coming in the post fragrance related and I'm gonna unbox them maybe on a Friday and let me know what you think about that idea. I might make it a regular feature on the channel. So in these videos, no fancy editing or comedy intros, just gonna get straight into it. So this is what came in the box today. I'm hoping and thinking that there's gonna be a couple of things in here. So let's change the camera angle and get into the box. Okie dokie, so here's the receipt. Got those thingies that come with stuff like this. Let's see what we've got here. So hopefully it's gonna be two things. And the first one is this. This is O Selvaggio, and this is from a company called Extro. And they make aftershaves. This one is labeled Eau de Toilette aftershave. Uh, really excited to get this one. Apparently it's an aftershave. It's, I got it from Shaving Station UK, not sponsored. I paid full price for this. Uh, it was, uh, I think, around about 12 pounds, which is great value. It's a 100 ml bottle of aftershave Eau de Toilette, it's called both, so I guess the strength is Eau de Toilette. And it's apparently based on Dior's classic Eau Sauvage from 1966. And I just really liked the label. They have a whole range of different ones. They all come with that kind of label of the, the guy there, um, it, it's a, a man in a barber shop, is it? I think, or some kind of workshop. I'm not sure, I think it's a shave, it's one of those shaving things that they do, isn't it? I, I don't really know what he's doing, but it's something to do with old fashioned shaving, this whole company. And let's check that one out in a moment. Let's see what the other one is. Stay tuned for this, Aventus fans, because this is in here. Let's get it out. And again, I think we've got a 100 mil aftershave. This is from a company called Razor Rock, and it's called Emperor. Emperor Aftershave Splash. After shaving splash. Okay, so Razor Rock Emperor, of course, there. Great design on the bottle, and it's uh, got that picture of Napoleon Bonaparte, who apparently inspired the creation of the perfume Creed Aventus, which I have as well. I should have mentioned here that the price for this one was £11.75 for 100 mils, and the extra fragrance was actually 125 mils, and that was £11.50. So um, let's do the Emperor first. Maybe most people will be more interested in that one. So uh, this aftershave, let's see how it comes. Right, oops, drop the lid. Okay, so it comes with a little dispenser like that, which means I can apply it without too much hassle. And there's a little bit dripped off already. So let's just get a little bit on there. Quite a load of that on my hand. It's supposed to smell like a Ventus. First sniff, let's find out. Let's put the camera angle back up to the more normal angle. Okay, yeah, really, well, it, it, I mean, I've got so many Aventus clones, I'm not gonna pretend I'm like really wowed that something smells similar. That's a very nice opening though. I was kind of thinking, yeah, maybe because, the, I think it's made in Italy apparently, yeah, made, uh, Michel Peroy, Torino, Italy. So it's made in Tur Turin in Italy. And it's got a real nice, fresh, natural opening, and it is very, very similar to Aventus. On first impressions, I'm really impressed with that opening. It's really fresh, and I was kind of just hoping, because it's come from a different world, the world of shaving products, it might be a little bit of a different way of doing things rather than the Middle Eastern clone houses where they make them maybe a little bit chemically smelling in the openings, usually. First impression, very, very nice uh, impersonation of Aventus. Really nice, fresh bergamot apple, pineapple thing, bit of alcohol. I mean, it's an aftershave, so it's probably not the strongest concentration, but I'm really impressed on my first impression that that could be a really good one to go for. So it's an aftershave. Obviously, you can you can just use it on your face. It's got some menthol in there. It's got some things that sort of get to invigorate your skin. You could always decant it into a little bottle and spray it and use it like a, a normal eau de toilette or eau de parfum as well if you want, which I might do. Hopefully gonna feature that, maybe a full review. More coming on that one really soon. The other one then, uh, this is O Selvaggio, so I think that, uh, I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds a little bit like the word Sauvage, O Sauvage from Dior, 1966 classic uh, citrus aromatic fragrance, I have an old vintage formula, and again we've got a nice little dispenser, I love the bottle design there, let's see how this one smells, so I've got a fair load there on my hand, wow, 
First impression, it doesn't smell anything like Dior Eau Sauvage on the very first sniff. But it smells really nice. It's citrusy, definitely. Oh, lemon. I get really photorealistic lemon, like lemon sherbet. Mm, that's the kind of thing I really like. It's, it smells like a real old, you know, I, uh, sometimes in my videos I've mentioned Agua de Colonia Concentrada from Alvarez Gomez, a real classic uh, citrus, cheap cologne from Spain. It's very, very nice. So far, very, very bright, fresh lemon. I'm not getting massive similarity to Dior Eau Sauvage yet. It's going to depend how it develops after. It's really nice opening, though, if you like citrus colognes. I'm very impressed with that one. We'll see how that one develops. So two great fragrances, aftershaves, although one of them's also called an eau de toilette. Uh, Emperor from Razor Rock and Eau Salvaggio from Extro. Let me know if you've tried any of these or if you're interested of, to have more unboxings on the channel. More information coming up on these soon, maybe a full review, maybe comparison with the scent that they're supposed to be copying. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.